I was a two-time world champion going into the Olympics and definitely a medal favorite at that time. I was the strongest I'd ever been, both mentally and physically. But about seven months before the games, everything just kind of started to fall apart. I would just feel really stiff, a little harder to warm up for my workouts. I didn't really think anything of them. I just thought I was getting older and it was just par for the course of doing extreme sport for so many years. And it was so frustrating because everyone around me was like, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you competing? Why aren't you, you riding all the time? And at that point I was getting really depressed. I was getting really, really scared that I wouldn't make it to the Olympics. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis when I was 25 years old. I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. Once my body had to take the weight of myself, it was just so painful. And I'd have to walk down my stairs. And I would have to walk with a hand on the railing, a hand on the wall, and one foot every step. And then when I got to the kitchen, I'd have to get my coffee cup out of the cupboard. And I would usually have to like help my arm up to grab it, because if I had the weight, I would drop it. Like I couldn't hold the weight of a coffee cup above my head. I didn't understand it. I knew nothing about the disease. I knew nothing about how it could be treated or handled. And to me, it was just, it was, it almost felt like a death sentence for my career in a way. When they told me about my diagnosis, I didn't think in a million years I'd be able to be a professional snowboarder still. I didn't think I would be able to get back to where I was. I didn't just do that, I went on to become one of the best in the world again. Arthritis Research Canada's role is to transform the future for people like Spencer. We have to do more. We have to aim for cure. We have to aim for prevention. And only research is going to make that happen. I don't think I would be doing what I'm doing right now if it weren't for arthritis research. It's the dedication to the research and to improving treatment that allows me to live this life. I didn't think it could happen to someone like me. Having like a lifetime illness was not something I was prepared for. I just want to make sure that people know that there is relief and it doesn't mean you can't live the life you want to live.